Hey friends, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today we're going to be working with some Best Plus plastic lumber that's used in the synthetic turf industry. I've got some old technology here. I'm going to show you kind of how this is used and the benefits of the new stuff that I'm going to show you. So let's jump right in. The first thing I'm going to show you is a one by four um, that means this is three quarters of an inch actual thick by three and a half. That's the nominal size to this, uh, standard in the lumber industry. This is what's mostly used. This is what we sell the most for artificial turf. So what happens is this product gets put up against the concrete. You can see there's a little bit of a curved edge here. What you want is this product right under that curved edge so that you can come back right about there typically. So they can double over the synthetic turf and staple it into this. Now, some people don't like this because it's so thin you don't get a big staple area here. Some people like it just fine and, and they roll with this. This is a good option. Another commonly used option is, and required by some of the synthetic turf companies is a two by four. Same thing except this is a little more rigid so if you're going into an entryway, um, if you step on this, it's not going to give. But really, uh, any of this won't give because you're going to have this crushed, compacted granite under here um, to backfill it. And uh, that's what you're actually going to be stepping on because the water can drain through the granite. So this is another option. A lot of times with this option, though, I will see people uh, putting this on a table saw or even ripping it with a circular saw in the field, which... Um, or, or ripping it before they leave the shop, which I would say would not be the best option just because of the time and the money that it, man hours it costs to do something like that. Another option rather than ripping this in half is using a two by two. So that's pretty much this product ripping, ripped in half. If you're currently using this and you're ripping it a lot, uh, you should have this there as well. So the new technology, let's talk about that. What we've got, this is called a two by two V groove. And the reason it's called V groove, of course, is because of this V right here. So let me show you a quick benefit or two of this product, these two products over these two. So these are the same height here. When you go to install this, you want this down below this turn a little bit. But the problem is, is we've got some blowout where the concrete went under the form. And this is extremely common. As a matter of fact, I would say it would be more common for this blowout to be even bigger. So the problem can be is you're, you're going in like this at an angle. So that's not ideal. That's the benefit of, of ripping it down. You're not, a two by four was up against this and it goes to the top. You want it down below that. It will not go below that. You need it down here. So now we're putting it in at a little bit of an angle. That's not ideal. Jump in here with a two by two, you put it wherever you need to put it. It's easy. Now, imagine I've just got a little, a little better than a one foot piece here. We're gonna get this thing just where we want it. But imagine this is 12 feet long. We're trying to get it here. And you can easily, it can easily wander off of the material. So that's where the V groove comes in. You're holding this V groove up here right where you want it. The V guides you to the center of the material. Much less likely to wander. Um, certainly less likely, it could still wander this way, it can still wander down, but it wandering off the material is unlikely. And one thing that I really like about this is if you're needing to go in at an angle, you're forced to by the, by the grade of the property or whatever, you're having to go in at a little bit of an angle, that's where this really plays. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're still going straight into the material because of the V. Stick this one back up here, and you're trying to go in at an angle, you're gonna have to go in straight, then change to an angle. It just is, is it, it, isn't, it isn't gonna sit on this. So there's some benefits of the new V groove. All of the synthetic turf guys I've shown this so far, they have loved the idea of this. They see the benefits of it. I sure enjoyed making that video. I hope you found it useful. Love, love, love to know what you guys think about the V-Groove product. 
drop me a comment, let me know. If you need to pick up some of this product, I'm located in Dallas. We manufacture it in Pennsylvania, so we can cover just about anywhere you need it to be. We can ship it to you. Uh, drop me an email. I'll have my email right in the description. Just let me know where you're at. I'll get you some information on it. Thanks again.